All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and do this flight again. Uh, I had a setting wrong in the transmitter. So this is the Ardu copter. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate my flight controller. This is the uh, Turnagy 9XR radio that I'm using, my flight controller front panel here. I'm going to command the vehicle to go right to the center of the room over there by the, the XY on the floor uh, at two meters. It's first going to go a little too high. Um, and then the integral error is going to start to accumulate. And as it does so, it's going to uh, bring the vehicle down where it's supposed to be. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and arm the vehicle manually first. When I flip this switch on the top right, right there to uh, back, it'll give it computer control forward. I have manual control. So here we go. Flip the switch and watch the vehicle. There it is, fully autonomous control. Starts out a little too high. It's going to slowly bring itself back down with the integral error. Very nice. Now that it's getting a little more stable, I'm going to go ahead and uh, command that it starts following the waypoints. Just checking a couple things on the controller first. All right, looks good. Here we go, track waypoints. And there it goes. It's following an unusual waypoint path. I'll show you that on the screen here in a second. I chose an unusual path just to see if it could do it and to make sure that my waypoint navigation algorithm is working properly and it is it's working very nice. So the vehicle is holding an altitude really nicely within um, a couple tenths of a meter throughout the whole flight. It's commanded to be at two meters. It's very, very, very accurate. For the most part it's within one tenth. Anyway, there it is. Let me show you what the screen looks like. So here is what we're seeing on the screen. So that green asterisk is what the vehicle is aiming for. The vehicle has the red arrow to indicate its heading and the blue arrow to indicate its tilt angle. So you can see that green asterisk incrementing along the waypoint as the vehicle moves along. It's leading the vehicle by two and a half meters down the waypoint path. Right when it comes up on waypoint six, I'm going to go ahead and put the phone up so that you can see as it turns away. So here we go. Right there, it turned away. Anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and command it to come home. So I hit the go home button. The go home button. No matter where it's at, I can hit the go home button. Comes right back to the center of the room. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the altitude up to five meters. There it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop it back down to two meters. Very nicely done. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop it to one meter. And now I'm going to command it to follow the waypoint path again. So here it comes. Now I'm going to go ahead and command it back up to uh, two meters while it's doing this waypoint following. There's two. Now I'm going to command it to fly in front of me. So I'm going to hit go there. 
which is gonna go to a point really close to me. And here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to go back to the center of the room at one meter. So first I'm gonna drop it to one meter. Now I'm going to hit the go home button. There it goes. And I need to add in a land button later, but for now I'm just going to manually land it. So I'm going to go ahead and set my phone down. I'm going to manually land it. Here we go. I've got the vehicle. Woo!